All right, what's going on guys? So today I'm actually driving the 2020 uh, Jeep Gladiator. Uh, it's a loaner vehicle actually from uh, Larson Dodge in Puyallup, Washington. So um, they're actually doing some uh, recall work on my truck and they were uh, awesome enough to let me borrow this um, awesome Jeep. So uh, first time ever in a Gladiator. Um, when they first came out, I wasn't really sure how to feel about it, but now that I'm actually in one, um, makes me miss our, our JL quite a bit. Just got done with that, the drive around. Sorry, it's super bright, but I uh, just got done with the drive around. I just wanted to show you guys like an up close and personal look at the uh, 2020 Jeep Gladiator. They, they did an awesome job for being a dealer built rig. Um, chose great aftermarket parts and uh, yeah, I'd love to highlight it with you guys. Off-road package plus or off-road package is 5,000. So um, that's coming with that's going to include everything with the lift, which I believe, I don't know if these are the stock shocks. I, I believe they came with the stock shocks with the Fox ones. Obviously there's a Jeep logo on there or if they have like a Mopar package, but, um, but yeah, so they had that lift and then we got the 37 by, I think these are, yeah, 12 and a half, um, 17 inch wheels. And then these are the KMCC. I don't know the model. Um, I'll look them up and put them uh, on the screen right here, but, uh, super nice, uh, not a super aggressive stance, but that's fine because Washington's kind of strict when it comes to their their laws about uh, tires sticking out. So, so super clean rig though. Uh, it's a billet silver, I think, uh, with, with black wheels. Looks super nice. Uh, such a clean look, and the red Rubicon accents look amazing as well. But we'll do a quick walk around. So. 2020 Jeep Gladiator from Larson Dodge in Puyallup, Washington. The sticker is 61, but with, so the base model, 43,875, and then it goes to 61 with all the options, which is crazy. It's almost, that's almost 20 grand worth of options on a freaking truck. It's normal for like Porsche, but not for, for Jeep. And then you add the off-road package and that brake plus that they put on every damn vehicle. And you're looking at $67,209. But I'll show you the, the back really quick. And then we'll show you the inside. So four-door Jeep truck, so plenty of room. You'll know that if you if you have a Jeep, you know that the doors don't open super, super wide. So these actually don't open, I guess it's the same. So normally the doors, you'll see that they usually come out to this so you can get in easier. But so if I'm staring straight at it, you can see how it's kind of crooked and it is hard to get things in the back. But I'm um, sorry, I didn't really prep this for the video part. There's something blocking in the rear. But um, there's actually a pretty decent amount of room in the back. Can't complain about that. And the, granted, the bed is really small. I think it's, I don't even know if it's a five foot bed, but I, I would hope so. Um, but main, main attraction is gonna be your front. So they re, well, these came out, I believe in 2019, and that was with the refresh of the Jeep um, Wrangler JL. So they had the same interiors as the Jeep Wrangler uh, JL. Super nice uh, Rubicon, comes with the, the red accents right here, the red dash area. Um, and then there's the, speedometer and tachometer and everything so and you're looking at the center console nice large screen then just like the JL decent storage so yeah very very good job on these Jeeps on the Jeep gladiators um, the uh, you can take all the doors off, you can take the top off, you, you can take these off, these are freedom panels, you just pop those out. You can take this whole top, I haven't done that and I don't have enough time to do it, but I can't imagine what it's like driving a truck with its whole top off. Um, so, But like I was saying before, it drives really well. Uh, I did drive it on the highway for a little bit and actually, just like any Jeep, it's so unaerodynamic, you're kind of like a sailboat going left and right but it's not unbearable like if you'll get used to it pretty quickly like i've i've owned two jeeps 
uh, so I, I'm, I understand that's kind of what comes with this. Um, I don't know actually what exhaust. I don't know if it's a dual exhaust or no. It's a single on that side. Yeah, so just a single exhaust, single exit. But um, these Fox shocks ride really nice from the factory, and I don't think they come tuned to anything special, but they do ride really well. Uh, Nitto's always ride well. I, I'm sure they can air down just a little bit to get a better ride, but it's not bad as is. Uh, honestly, there's if I had to build my own, and like I said, they did a great job for it being a dealer-built um, vehicle. If I had to do anything different, I don't know how much I would actually change. Like this wheel and tire, or, yeah, the wheel and tire setup is really nice. I probably would do a different lift kit just because uh, I don't like the dealer or like Mopar lifts and like just any sort of brand, uh, dealer brand lifts. But I would definitely choose something different. But it doesn't ride bad as is. I would definitely add some sort of steps because uh, it's definitely, you have to kind of hop in there. And I'm 5'11", so. Uh, let's see looks like there's the, yeah definitely a spacer in there so if I had to say probably just a two and a half inch spacer and it comes with the the front Rubicon bumper where you can take these end pieces off and it'll be a stubby bumper so it'll pretty much line with the grill versus with the fender but it comes with a nice LED projector lights super aggressive hood from the factory so yeah they they did an awesome job on these Jeeps, the, the Jeep Gladiator anyways, uh, and they did fine on the, the Wranglers, but uh, kind of makes me want to get one, but we already have too many vehicles in the garage and don't really have room for anything else. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on this build, if, you, if you've been looking at one, um, if you decided that you didn't want to get one, what made you decide that? What made you decide that you did want to get it? Just stuff like that. Um, We'll just show that gas mileage is not too bad for a Jeep. So 19 average, you got 17 city, 22 highway. And yeah, it comes with the five year, 60,000 mile warranty. Um, everyone knows that I don't keep my vehicles that long, unfortunately. But yeah, I would definitely go with the colored hard, hard top. Like um, on this rig, it looks super, super nice. Uh, third brake lights on here because uh, they obviously knew that if you take the top off, Normally they're up there. If you take the top off, there's obviously not going to be a third brake light anymore. And you need a third brake light to be compliant. So I just dropped the um, the tailgate and it's kind of slow at first, but then it just drops fast. I uh, could use a bed liner or some sort of um, lining in the bed, but um, it's a brand new vehicle. Uh, the tail light's super aggressive. Um, comes with the blind spot monitoring and everything. Uh, super nice. Uh, these are just great looking just from factory, so I wouldn't even change these the bumpers honestly look really good from factory, too There's really not much I would change on this car. I, I honestly can't think of like anything off the top of my head besides the lift kit um, They did a great job. So yeah, leave a comment guys uh, Tell me what you you like about these gladiators Tell me what, what you don't like about them. Tell me how you think they this particular dealership did on uh, building this what would you change? Um and yeah, stay tuned for more guys.